Hello and welcome everybody to the Red Lantern. This seemed to be a pretty cool game about survival and other stuff while managing a dog sled, of all things. So I kind of thought to myself, why not try this out? It might be cool, it might be bad. I don't know yet. We'll, we'll see. those moments that just stick out in your mind those ones that just stay with you forever when I was a kid I was told you are what you do so choose wisely and I tried to choose doctor that didn't take I can still hear him you know this this just isn't for you but I knew what they meant this just isn't you. It's probably not a problem for you, is it, buddy? Chomper, world's best pup and friend. Chaser of squirrels, smeller of city streets, and chewer of literally everything. <laughs> See, you know exactly who you are. Oh, I wish I could say the same. I probably should have had a backup plan, huh? Guess I haven't exactly made the best decisions lately. <laughs> Except for adopting you, of course. Without you, I'd be pretty lost. And I sure as hell wouldn't be out on this road in the middle of nowhere, Alaska. But we needed a fresh start, and I've dreamed of dog sledding since I was a kid. Marco made the races sound incredible. And from how you've dragged me up and down the streets of San Francisco, I think you have dog racing dreams too. Well, let's go assemble us a team, huh, Chomper? We need four more pups to start training. Oh, hey! We just passed mile marker 32! So, the ad said that just after the mile marker, there would be a kennel with a dog sledding veteran we could adopt. Figure we can check out the pup, maybe add some experience to our team. What do you think? Sure, let's, uh... Let's, uh, let's, let's and do you that. you can't carry the sledding gear on your own, even if you think you can. That would be kind of cool, right? Especially since we are supposed to manage, like, getting new dogs Noodle, and stuff. Huh? <laughs> I can see that. I said running alone wasn't enough for you. You were looking for some kind of challenge and a musher who would listen to you, too. Well, I don't really know what I'm doing, so, uh, having some help out there might be nice. Sure, let's, uh, let's do that. You just need something to motivate you. Perhaps a new adventure? New family? Noodle. Just know that I still have to make the calls and try to do what's best for us. Will that work for you? Yeah, let's welcome to the, the team, Noodle. I'll introduce you to Chomper. The Noodle and Chomper. <laughs> Love that. Well, welcome to the van. This is Chomper. He's a city pup, but... He's ready to get out there and learn how to become a sled dog. It sounds like you weren't too big a fan of indecision last time you raced. And that I should trust you when I'm not sure what's best. I can work I'm with that. more than willing to defer to you if your instincts are sharp. I trust that you're a smart pup noodle, and I need help with more than running. But you can't just lay down in the middle of the trail, okay? We've got a new life to start. And once we're home, I'll build you a nice little den with a perfect nap zone. How's that sound? I'm very <laughs> curious right, about right. this game. Rest up. We've got plenty of running ahead of very, us. Very, very curious. Because I have not seen much about this. For next stop. We're looking for three more pups to fill out our team and help us get to our new home. I haven't really heard about it either until I got it a Humble Bundle, and it kind of looks cool. Uh, did you move your house here? I don't have any snacks, Bodega. That's a strong... Why do you snacks? They said he's been eating them out of house and home. He's gonna... Oh. oh. He's... He's a strong pup. Sure. Yeah, I think he'll be a great addition to the team. Look at that. Come on. Come on, Bodega. 
Okay, I know I barely have enough food for all of us, but that's part of the adventure, right? We're gonna find our food. We're gonna live off the land. Just imagine it. Oh yeah, we're gonna... Um... We'll live a life that's not wasteful. We'll be in control of everything and only take what we need when we need it. We'll keep your belly from grumbling and you can help carry us all home. We only have to worry about ourselves out here. A big reset button for all of us. We can start smile. something new. Become someone new. I feel like I like, like wilderness me. She I like Bodega. That's cool. At least she does right now. And I believe in you, Bodega. That's why you're part of the team. I'm not yeah, sure three if I out of six you based now. on your skills, or just because I can't pass up a pup. But I am very excited about this team we've put together. We have six stops to go, and we only need to adopt two more dogs. Oh, come on, I want to adopt everybody. You look like a force to be reckoned with. Gale, is it? I don't think you'll be needing much motivation. You might need more than a nudge in the right direction, but looks like you'll set your sights on a destination and get there. I'll probably have to make sure you take hmm. some time to rest so we can keep this energy up. I think... I, mm, I'm gonna be a little bit more picky. It doesn't really have any other abilities than running, it seems. Like, more energy and stuff, so I'm gonna... Um, I'm not sure I'm ready for you. One day, I hope I am. I'm gonna wait a little bit with that, I think. Okay, so far so good. Two pups out of the three stops is a great start. We only need to adopt two more dogs, and we have five more stops. I think we'll be okay. Oh, you're not a small fella, are you? They said you were big, but you're gonna make Chomper look like he was mixed with a corgi. You're actually kind of intimidating. Okay, it sounds like you've gotten into a few fights out there in the wilderness, and that you always stuck by your musher's side, but they were afraid you would jump into a fight you couldn't win. But now you've become restless, being stuck back in the kennel, howling at night for the wild you can't get to. Well, we're hopefully going to have a nice training run out to a new home. We'll see plenty of wild things, I'm sure. And I'd like to avoid the fights I can't win, too. I think this could be good. For both of us. Alright. What do you think? I love the name Barkley. And it's a huge dog. It's a really huge dog. It's probably gonna save us a couple times, I guess, but it's uh, it's it's also probably gonna be um, leading us into fights that we can't win. So um, I'm a little bit conflicted, but I do see the manpower behind him. So let's let's get him. I'm not Look, really guys, sure a huge dog. Barkley. You haven't made a single sound since I met you. <laughs> Should we give you a new name? Something that reflects your quiet nature. Oh, 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 okay. Uh, let's go for snoozer. Snoozer is definitely better. <laughs> okay, so uh, not quiet, just one to pick your moments. I will make sure to listen. So let's keep Barkley then. He looks happy. Adopting dogs is so easy. I not basically really. just love all of you. Yeah, pretty much. Our team is almost complete, <laughs> and I've only met a few dogs. We've got four more stops to find our last team member. Dear Stilton. God, your eyes are blue. They're brighter than the sky, Stilton. And you don't seem to miss a thing. You're keeping a constant watch. I bet you know everything that goes on, huh, old boy? You're supposed to be retired, but it sounds like you've been keeping tabs on the pups and leading their training runs. Oh, an experienced dog. I think we have one of those. But I do think another one couldn't hurt, so let's go for this one. I know one. some pups that would love to have you around. There are no bad dogs. No. So, meet the team. I think we're a pretty great bunch. You should have fun here. You've got like a cold fire in those eyes. People shouldn't give up on you so quickly. But yeah. I guess some people get obsessed with crushing the competition and they don't see the value of a well-rounded team. We can't all be speedsters or beasts. 
Sometimes you need a pup who can let you know when you're steering the team into trouble. Or a moose. Perfect. Hear moose are more threatening than bears. Is that true? I'm gonna take that growl as a yes. We're out here to become a real dog musher and, you know, hopefully one day win a race or two. How's that sound? Okay, uh, we gotta prove that we can hack it out here, um, that's... Nothing's gonna stop us. It's just us in the world. It's we not a competition, you know? We're glad to have you, Stilton. I don't know what the ride is gonna be like, but we're definitely gonna have an adventure. Yeah, it is not a competition. This is, uh, really this is survival, this. you know? We've got an incredible team here, and all that's left for us is to head out to our new home. The Red Lantern. I can't believe we made it to Alaska, Chomper. Margo said to travel to the end of the road and then hop on the sled and travel a few days more. We'd know her cabin by the Red Lantern hanging by the door. And she gave us this map. It's uh, not as helpful as I'd like. And but it seems like it's uh, made to by a child path. or something. But okay. Oh. So, you're going to have to take the lead. It's a lot of responsibility looking out for a team, but I think you're ready for it. But who are them are they? find our new home. <laughs> Wait, Chomper yeah, is the leader? Sure. All right. No. Let's make sure we have what we need. The city boy is We've the leader. Got our team. Barkley. Stilton, Bodega, Noodle, and the sled is all ready to go. I think so, yeah. We packed the bare essentials to get us started, but we're going to have to live off the land once we get to our cabin, so we might as well start training for that now too, right? Come on, let's do this. Two pieces of raw meat. Well, you pups can handle the uncooked raw and cold food. The kind we'll also find on the trail. But I'm going to have to cook that up if I don't want to freeze my insides. Hypothermia is not something I'm looking to try. We'll be able to set up camp once we get properly out on the trail. I scrounged up this old gun and a couple of bullets. Just in case. So we'll oh make do with what we have. We can use them to hunt or keep them around in case we need to protect ourselves. It is the wilderness, after all. You know, bears, moose, wolves, skunks. Oh! And most importantly, we've got one med pack. I should be able to bandage us up if something happens. Okay, well, I guess we should start. What do they say again? Uh, mush. Uh, mush on. I think, right? Yeah. Mush, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is cool. Oh, this is cool. This is actually quite beautiful. Let's see, let's go to now the left. Here we don't left. say left and right. We use ha for left and G for right. So let's go. Let's go uh left. Ha! Following the trail you will run into encounters. Encounters have risks, but also bring rewards. You won't survive without exploring, but going into it. Going into encounters cost hunger. Oh, we got a hunger bar. This is your hunger meter. If your hunger meter is empty, you need to eat soon or risk losing your current run. Okay. Let's go. Oh, crap. Like we've got a chance at a meal, pups. Let's go. Oh, shit. Stay quiet. Just be calm. You've got this. Hey, perfect shot. And now we can reward ourselves with a warm meal. No one has oh, to yeah. start tonight. God, that's a terrible thought. Why did I want this to be my reality? Well, at least I feel properly alive. And I'm getting kind of good at this. 
The encounters are up an special. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on my hunger when I venture off. We've got some more meat. So you got three right, food. Got two bullets. Let's be safe out there. I'll hold LB to show resource. LB is that. We got five food. I don't know what that metal one is. This is dog's energy meters. Crossing a trail marker cost one energy. Okay. Your run will end if you cross a trail marker with when either your hunger meter or the dog's energy meter is empty. Okay. Is that a... Oh shit, it's a skunk. Uh, skunk. Yuck. Fork in the road. Where to? Let's go, uh, G. Hey. Oh, it's a moose. It's away, but it's here. What should we do? Let's hunt that shit. Let's get it. We need food. Just have to, you know, just for wind, distance, that a uh, physics arcing thing. What was that? A parabola? Is that right? Come on, back to present. Okay, it's just a little further away. Time to take our chance. Cast it. Holy hell! I made that shot. I'm gonna pretend that wasn't just luck. Definitely my innate abilities coming to the surface. We all have to find our true selves. Mine just happens to be one with the wilderness. A freaking hunting rifle, huh? Even when I'm scared out of my mind. And now to get that bounty. Pups, we're in for a treat. How much food do we get? We Thanks only got oh, four. Pups. Holy. Yeah, that's our last bullet. At least we've already got some food. I'm pretty sure we're gonna need last bullet, so let's go, Fred. Okay, let's go. Let's be safe out there. Mush. Let's take a break. Yeah, let's take a camp here. We uh, set up a pretty good camp. We've got our meat all strung up to be out of reach of bears. And we can make a fire. It'll be nice to cook up some food or warm my bones. And of course, I can check on all of you. Welcome to camp. Here you can eat meat, filling your hunger meter. Okay. You can use the dog bowl to feed your dogs, filling their energy. And you can sleep, restoring maximum capacity lost by being tired. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna fill up the bowl, I think. Food time. Chow down, pups. How do I do this? Oh, one more time. Food time. Chow down, pups. Let's get him some food. I don't think we, we are going to need a lot of food, but they are definitely going to need a lot of food. And we ourselves... Fire would be nice. Start fire okay, with birch, yeah. a little birch bark, a little spark, and behold, fire. Can I... I'm ready to cook some food. Yeah, we should probably make some food. Oh, so one food is going to give me like... Two. You can go for that. I think we're pretty good right, right now. Use a med pack. I don't think we need that. Yes, Pet Barkley. Ready for Pet Barkley? <laughs> Look at Barkley. Look at that face. At Stelton, you know, it, it is important to pet all the dogs. You keeping a lookout for all of us? Yeah, I don't want to distract you too much, but I think it's time for some good old pets. Maybe some of these. 
and a bit of a scratch here. This is this is kind of mel Let's melting my heart a, a, a little bit. <laughs> Couple of dogs over there. <sighs> noodle. Hi, Noodle. This feeling more exciting to you? Yeah, okay. Let's just get some scratches in. Right. I'm just here to pet you. Hey. <laughs> Which means that that right there is bodega, right? Yeah. Pets, pets, pets. You look at Bodega. Oh, I love that so much. Chomper is in the tent, right? Yeah. Who's a good dog, Chomper? Yeah, Chomper is a good dog. Okay, let's uh, venture forth a little bit. Back on the trail. All right, let's mush on. Okay, Moosh. We should probably um, saw the forest. What, what 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 does that even mean? Um. Oh, did you see that? Oh, it's a, a bald eagle. eagle. Uh, no, Chopper. I don't think you can jump that high. <laughs> what do you pups think? Ah. Uh, I'm gonna leave pups. it. Ignore it. Now what? Let's go, uh, G. Oh, uh, we are actually. Uh, what's going on up there, Stilton? What is that? What is that? Oh, hello. The tar Miggins. I had no idea what that. Okay, on my call, you're gonna try to get yourselves a meal. Hold. Hold. Okay, go! Go, doggy! Sheesh. Y'all are great at catching these birds. Maybe we uh -huh. shouldn't try to have chickens at our new home. Huh. I don't need eggs. I think I like these ptarmigans. They all look very full. Oh uh, yeah, they got some. They got Let's some birdies. Okay. Let's go. Let's go, Chomper. Yeah, Chomper. Let's go. Mush, mush. Becoming tired. As time passes, energy and hunger meters will lose capacity. As you lose more capacity, you will become tired and eventually exhausted. You can sleep at camp to restore your lost capacity and remove the tired or exhausted condition. That is fine. We uh, we are still pretty good to go. It is a reason why I did not fill that that meter up entirely. We are definitely going to need a lot more bullets. Rabbit's supposed to be a delicacy. What do you think, pups? Let's go check it out. Little bunny. Go, right, jumper. jumper. On my call, you get to kill it. Oh. All right, leave it, Chomper. All right, let's go. Come on. Okay, I'm back. All right, let's mush on. This is very, very narrative driven. I'm not sure how much I like that, to be entirely honest. Hmm. Oh. Let's go. Uh oh, let's go to the oh. left. Ran on a frozen lake. Oh. We should definitely not camp here, I don't think. Um. Is that Noodle, a wolf? Are you trying to bring it closer or keep it away? How close do you think that wolf is? Keep running. Oh, Noodle. I said let's go. I know, Noodle. All right, fine. Crap. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, okay. Um... Oh, come on. We can do this. It is. That's a rusty thing. Holy shit. I'm glad you brought us out here, Noodle. I hope that wolf makes it. I released a wolf. I'm back. Oh, we are hungry. I think we're done here. Let's go. We actually need to make camp soon. Ah, oh, come on. I'm certain I read that owls are good omens. Or uh, wait. Uh, owl good things comes to Sounds those who wait, I think, yeah. To me. What do you pups think? Yeah, owl it is. Let's go, Noodle. Oh. Ah, oh, good omen. That's what we needed, team. What do we think it'll lead us to? So we've some birch. It's a good start. Identify the birch tree. Take bark. Oh, I don't really trust that owl, but yeah, we could probably take Why is bark so hard to rip off? Thank you. Oh, that's what that is. It's Kendo. Down the sled, pups. Oh crap! Let's start a fire at camp now. Let's get back out there. Yeah, we need to take a break soon, actually. We only have like two in in food here. Let's rest. Yeah, let's 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 make camp. This is a good spot to rest. We only we only got a couple of meat pieces of meat left. Um. Food time. Chow down, pups. Get the dogs a couple. At least one. Well, they need a lot of food. Oh God. Okay, I need to Fire check out the fire nice. Birch bark works wonders for starting fires. Okay, that's the last of our candle. We, we, we need to get more candle. Okay, uh... You need to pet all the dogs. It's good to have you on the team, Barkley. There's a little bit quick since we've already done this. It, it's not that I, like I don't really like dogs. I I'm, really I'm a very much, can... I'm very much a dog person. Where's Chomper? Who's a good dog, Chomper? He Chomper's a cute dog. Which one of these dogs do you guys like the most? I can't believe we released a wolf, huh? I wonder how long it was out there. You think it'll be okay? I think we should, um... We should probably call it a night? Maybe a bit of a massage. Keep you loose for the trail. Yeah, I think this is uh, a good as place as any to call it a night, I think. Might be time to get some rest. I'm sure my stomach will be grumbling by morning. But the dogs will be energized. Well, should we go to sleep? Six hours passed. All right, Ooh, everyone feeling better? Oh shit! Look at that. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, I think this is a good as place as any to call it. It um, call it the first episode, I think. So yeah, if you guys like this, just give me a like or a comment or something, just so I know what to focus on. This actually looks beautiful. Yeah. Who's the best dog? Huh? Um, me, I'm very much into Bodega. He's... She's very, very beautiful. Those normal, you know, husky eyes and that. And Stilton? Oh, come on. And there's Jumper. Yeah, Jumper. Barkley. Noodle. Ah. 
I'm very much a fan of this. This, this is this looks very cool. So yeah, if you guys want one week to make some more of this, just give me a like or a comment or something, and I will see you in the next episode. Have a beautiful night. Bye for now.